be whoever you need to be with Vital. Vital Fitness expert Tinas Biermann believes full body workouts are a great way to get into shape, lose weight and tone your body. With at-home workouts, you'll be able to experience all these benefits. He shows us how. Good morning. Today we're focusing on exercises that you can do in your home. I'm going to use a Swiss ball and two dumbbells. But you can use your chair or a can of baked beans or a can of peas and holding it and using that as a little bit of resistance. I'm going to show you three exercises on each muscle group, which is your chest, your shoulders, your back, your biceps and your triceps. Three exercises on each muscle group and then use it as a superset because you want to move from one exercise straight into the other. No rest. Try and focus on the technique because that's going to give you the results that you want. So let's take it from the top, shoulders. You've got your shoulder press, nice and straight, belly into the back of the spine. Keep the elbows 90 degrees. You want to take a deep breath there and then breathe out on the work. Deep breath in and out on the work. And then just doing this for 10 repetitions. Remember, you want the elbows 90 degrees, stretch, reach for the stars, and then bringing it back down. Let's move on to your lateral raise. You want the arms nice and straight, elbows slightly bent, because you want to take that pressure off the joint. Bringing that pressure into the shoulder. Arms nice and straight, and then breathing out on the work. And then from there, moving into a frontal raise, keeping the elbows slightly bent, forward and down, forward and down. Focus on the technique. You want to keep that mind over muscle. Emphasize that squeeze. Think of that shoulder working. So you've got 10 repetitions on your shoulder press, 10 repetitions on your lateral raise, and then 10 repetitions on your frontal raise. That will be shoulders. From there, let's move on to biceps. And try and move into the next muscle group as fast as you can. Because remember, the less rest that you give yourself, the quicker and fitter you will become. So let's move on to biceps. Back nice and straight, belly into the back of the spine. Just a normal forward bicep curl. 10 repetitions. Breathing out on the work, keep the elbows nice and tight into the body and try not to sway too much. Keeping the back nice and straight. 10 repetitions. From there, moving into an open bicep curl. This will work on the outside of the bicep. Retracting the shoulder blades, getting the elbows into the body and then just opening and squeezing the bicep. Moving from there into your hammer curl with the palms facing towards the body and then into your hammer core, working on the outside and also on the inside of your bicep. So you've got 10 repetitions on your normal bicep, 10 on your open and then 10 on your hammer core, moving straight into each other with no rest. Focus on your breathing and get that technique 100%. So let's move on to triceps. Taking the body nice and forward elbows into the back. Keep the elbows nice and tight and then squeeze backwards. Try and emphasize that squeeze on the tricep because that's going to make it grow or define it and tone it. 10 repetitions. Psh, psh, breathing out on the work, leaning slightly forward. Body nice and straight, get that single arm up to the top, elbow 90 degrees for a single arm overhead extension. Keeping the elbow 90 degrees. Remember, you don't want to pick up any injuries. Stay safe. Opposite side, 90 degrees, up to the top. Pshh. Pshh. 10 repetitions on each. And then finishing off with your tricep dips. You want to keep the hands next to the body, feet together, elbows slightly bent, knees bent, and then just dropping down and then up to the top. Remember, Keep your elbows 90 degrees, not further because you can pick up an injury. So nice and easy, you can do this on the chair or even on the Swiss ball, 
would be a little bit tougher. But take it easy and stay safe. So that will be triceps, kick back, 10 repetitions. Single arm overhead extension, 10. And then opposite side, 10. Going into your tricep dips for 10. And that will be your super set of three exercises straight into each other. Don't forget the breathing and don't forget the technique. Let's move on to back. This is a big muscle group and you're also working on the biceps when you're pulling on the back. So this is great. Let's move on to just the bent over normal row. Elbows up to the top, emphasize that squeeze on the shoulder bl blades. Going down, forward, up to the top, breathing out on the work. And then from there, going into a bent over lateral raise. Palms facing towards each other. Bending the elbow slightly and get that squeeze and emphasize on the shoulder blades. Squeeze it. From there, moving into a bent over frontal raise or forward raise. 10 repetitions, feet together, forward and back. Elbows slightly bent and focus on that technique. So those are your three exercises. You've got your bent over row, your bent over lateral raise, and your bent over frontal raise. 10 repetitions on each and focus on that technique. Get that squeeze in your shoulder blades. Let's move on to your chest. So we're going to go down for the chest, back nice and straight. The ball is on the back. Keep the head nice and straight. You don't want to focus on bending the neck too much because you don't want to pick up any injuries. So keeping the neck straight, spine straight, belly into the back, squeezing the bum up to the ceiling. For a normal chest press up to the top, breathing out on the chest. Moving from the 10 repetitions into your chest fly. Bending the elbow slightly and feel the stretch on the fly. Remember, the more stretch that you get, the better results you'll see. Moving from there into your torso press. Elbows in, just chafing next to the body, up to the top. So those are your three exercises for the chest. You've got your chest press, your chest flies, and your chest torso press. Now remember, Try and flow from the shoulders into the biceps, into your triceps, into your back, into your chest. Flowing straight into each other so you don't get too much rest. That way you'll see better results. Do three to five sets of that whole upper body exercise together. And I can guarantee you that you're going to see the results that you want and become a better you. Enjoy, stay safe, and catch me next week.